How do you decide on trajectory with a wedge? What determines how that goes for you? Well, it's one, if the lie is good, uh, two, where, where's the pin? And, you know, if the greens are soft or not. And obviously I got to factor all those into it and the number I have, what I want to do with it, want to get it back there or not, or turn it down, take the spin off of it, add it. There's not one thing I, I, I go to, but it all starts with the lie. And so once I see the lie is clean, the ball's not wet, I mean, that has a lot to do with it. If, if I get a clean ball, I know I can spin it and control it, but if the ball's a little bit of dew on it, it gets a little picked up with a little water, it doesn't spin as well. So the control, I know it's not gonna be as pinpoint. And so once I determine all that, I'm um, trying to feel it and feel it with my hands. When Tiger has a wedge in his hand, I, I mean, I think he's thinking, you know, he's got to get the ball within inside 15 feet every time. If the conditions are good, he's got a perfect lie, you know, he's kind of feeling it, then you're looking within six feet. That's kind of how dialed in he really is in terms of distance control and, and his wedge game. Well, I've got a partial wedge here. It's 77 yards. Uh, I'm already thinking it's my 60. I normally hit my 60 about 92 yards. Uh, this being 77, obviously, I take a little bit off of it. I don't play by any kind of clock system, so I don't understand how people do that or even a percentage. Uh, I do everything on feel in my hands and my body and be connecting with the shot. I'm seeing this shot, no trouble out there. I like to play a little soft draws with it. This shot is sitting up being 77 yards, slightly flighted. I'm gonna feel 75. For me, I start seeing the shot whether I wanna play cut or draw, where I want the ball to end up, where's the easiest putt from, uh, trouble, water, bunkers, slopes, tiers, what have you. But I'm starting to feel it in my hands back here behind the ball. I still have a target that I've picked out, a little aiming spot. But once I build a stance, I'll make adjustments based on how I feel, wind, whatever may come up, or I just may feel more adrenaline. Ball maybe gonna go further or it's cold and I'm a little stiff. It's not gonna go as far, so I'll make those adjustments as I get over the golf ball. I always start every shot from behind the ball. I'm already starting to get a feel for this shot is 77 yards. I like to hit it with a little more arms, flight it down just a little bit. So I'll put the ball up in my stance, just a touch. I'll flight it down with my arms and my hands. Take one look, another look. Use my arms. I'll go in. Oh. At impact, I already know that I either pulled it off or hit a bad one. From this distance, we should know pretty much right as the club goes to the ground. Um, I already know that I either pulled it off or I didn't. In this case, I did. A wedge shot where you're taking a little bit off. Mm -hmm. Is there one particular wedge that you use for that that you feel most comfortable with playing that little soft shot or does it really depend on the situation? No, because I, I play with three wedges. So I have a 60, a 56 and a 51. And so my wedges, I've had this basic setup since I was probably, what, 11, 12 years old. So I've got 70 yards here. I'm gonna take this ball up a little bit. The reason why I say I'm gonna take the ball up a little bit, the pin's in the front, and I'm trying to add spin to the shot. I see a, a back shelf on this particular shot. And so when I try and play a little softer shot, I tend to put the ball up in my stance a little bit. I do like to feel like my hands are undercutting it a little bit, especially my right hand. I connect all shots with my right hand, so uh, feeling this shot, I would aim slightly right of the flag because I want to pull across it just a touch, add a little bit of loft to it. Normally for a 70 yard shot, and the normal average 70 yard shot, I would put the ball right about here in my stance because I want to undercut this and put a little more spin to it. I'm gonna put a little further forward in my stance. I'm gonna aim slightly further right so I can pull across it and add a little loft and softness. I 
Well, I'm very happy with a 70 yard shot and putting aside 10 feet. This particular pin is front left. And so my natural instincts is to miss the golf shot right. And as I move the ball further forward, I aim further right. I naturally kind of instinctively saw that because the pin's front left. Uh, so I aimed a little further right and hit a pin high. One of Tiger's great abilities is distance control. He tries to land the ball pin high. He's not trying to run it up there. Typically, he's not trying to, you know, have it spin back hard or spin hard left and right. Um, when it hits the green, he's trying to almost throw darts, especially with wedges. He wants it to get there, sit, and stay. When you shape wedges, which scenario calls for which shape and why? I'm taking a spin off and obviously better at drawing the ball and turning it down with my left hand. Um, adding spin, I tend to rake across it, put more spin on it. I've had to learn how to be good at both. And so I feel comfortable on, our, on both scenarios, drawing the ball or cutting it. Um, over the course of my career, I've been a better at, at cutting the golf ball. Um, but there have moments where I really do shape it well with my arms and, and take the speed off of it and, and draw it in there. If the pin is at the back, are you more a fan of aggressively flying it all the way back there or using as much of the green as possible? It all depends on the, the softness of the greens. If the greens are firm, then it, it gets into my wheelhouse because I have a spinnier golf ball. And so I can land the ball short and get it back there to the back pin. I've struggled when the greens are really soft and I have back pins with my spinnier golf ball. I've had to either fly it back there or I've had to take one full more club off and flight it. And so it's been good and bad. And so when the conditions are firmer, I've tended to have my, my better tournaments. Uh, when they're super soft and with back pins, with my spinier ball, even though I've been relatively good over my, my entire career, I've taken spin off of it. Sometimes hitting a nine iron, like 110 yards, or I mean, 100 yards gets a little hard at times. Yeah. Um, but I'd rather have that than not be able to do well on hard greens. Yeah, I've got 88 yards here, so this is right on the limit of my 60. I hit it 92 yards. So with it being in the back, I can hit a 60 and get it back there. I'm gonna have to make slight adjustments to it. Uh, one, I'll put the ball further back in my stance. I'll put a little more speed in my hands and my arms into the ground to try and take some of that, uh, the loft off of it. So right now I'm feeling 88. I'm gonna flight it, so I'm gonna probably hit it about 84 with it being a back pin, kind of scoot it back there. So I'm trying to feel speed in my hands and my arms and keep that ball down. I'll cut off the fall through a little bit short so I can make it sure I, I penetrate it. But again, I'm connecting everything with my hands and my feels to try and get that loft off of it. I accomplished all that by hitting thousands of golf balls and, and building a feel for how far I hit the golf ball. But I'll make adjustments based on whether it's hot and humid or it's cold and damp or it's windy. Uh, I'll make those slight adjustments, but I'm making those adjustments behind the golf ball. My father taught me that it's the, the closest hand you should feel it with is your right hand, because obviously it's closest to the club face. And so I'll get a lot of my feel in my right hand. And I'm trying to get a sense of how I should play it, how feel wise. And I really get connected to that. And once I get that feel and once I get that sense of how I'm gonna play the golf shot, I commit and I just go. I'm aiming a little bit right. I'm gonna hit a little flighted draw right over that tuff of grass. One look, two looks, ball further back, go. Do you have a favorite wedge yardage that you like to lay up to every time? That depends on the temperature. Um, because if it's hotter, then the ball's flying further. I hit my 60, uh, probably just over 90 yards. When it's cool, I don't hit even more than it's like 75. So, yeah, but it all depends on the day. And obviously with 
my physical conditioning over the years has, has changed. My wedge numbers have changed, changed over the years. I've learned to flight things off. I've struggled when I've gone to harder golf balls over times, and so um, I've always been good at taking a spin off of it, so hitting flighted wedges has always been like in my wheelhouse. Do you see other players over the years hit shots that you think, oh yeah, that's an interesting shot, I want to learn that and put that in the bag? I would have to say learning short game shots over the years and picking guys' brains and how they play, uh, whether it was Seve, Ali, or it was Raymond. Um, just picking their brains over the years. Um, I was lucky enough for them to want to be able to ask them these questions and be in a position where they, they've, they felt like they could answer it truthfully <laughs> and you know, basically disclose how they play a lot of those shots. And it, it uh, was very interesting because they, their feels are all different. You know, what they say they do, it's not exactly what they do, and sometimes it is. And so I had to you know, pick out what's going to work best for me. I see that, I feel that, and uh, I definitely can pull that off consistently. I'll go in. <laughs> 